Hi guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is part six. That's right, part six of my makeup collection. And we are not even halfway through. <laughs> How scary is that? I'm terrified. Um, <laughs> this drawer has a lot of stuff in it. Um, th this drawer is the one that shows a lot of the stuff that I picked up over the last year since I last filmed one of these. <laughs> it pretty much seems to all be in this particular box, in this particular drawer. Uh, yeah, so this is all eye stuff. So let's just get started. I am not going to swatch the stuff in this box. There is just too much in here. So I'm just going to go through it. Um, so first off we have this Anoxa. Uh, trio, this is the, one of their minerals. Uh, this one is in Forest. Ah, we, if I could get it open so you could see it properly. I just took a chunk out with my thumb. Um, yep, so that's that one. They're all shimmery. Makes them kind of hard to use on an everyday basis. This is the other one that's from Anoxa. Same line, but this one is in Earth. And again, it does not want to be opened. Um, so that one is Earth. I have two Maybelline Eye Studios. I have this one, which is Ivy Icon, and I have uh, Lawless Lavender, which is the purple version from. Uh, be a bombshell. I have the New York City quad. From Essence, I have the Quattro eyeshadow in To Die For. Which is a really good neutral palette. Um, also from Essence, I have this 3D shadow. This one is in Irresistible Chocolates. Very shimmery. And I have the other one in Caramel Cream. I have this old Rimmel. It's got a bit of hard pan on it, but it still seems to work alright. This one is called Slow Motion. This savvy one, which is called Smoky Nuts. Savvy is a designer brand's brand. Uh, it is raining outside, if you can hear that. Um, it's also the middle of the night, so that's why the light is a bit funky. This one is from Coral Colors. It's a bit busted up. This one is called Cool Sorbet. That sounded really weird. That was supposed to be Cool Sorbet. Um, I tried to depot that clearly because I busted the edge of it and it didn't come out. Um, I really got to start thinking about actually throwing away eyeshadows. Um, this one is from Carmella. I got this on Born Pretty Store because I wanted, I did one of their grab bags of like makeup stuff because I wanted to see if it was any good. They're actually not bad. They're just really shimmery, like over the top type shimmery is fine if that's what you're going for but you can't do a whole eye look really because it just looks weird in my opinion um this one is from uh beauty essentials it's uh, the be bright eyeshadow quad um some interesting i have no idea what quality that is because i'm pretty sure i haven't actually used it yet i probably just swatched it on my like with my finger I have so much eyeshadow, it's so hard to use it all. Um, this is the Designer Brands Quad in Moon Shadow. And they're not bad. Except, again, there's no matte for people who like to use mattes. I don't always like to use matte. Um, so I will use a glittery shadow in the crease. It's just nice to have the option. This one is from Model Co. This is their... Uh, bronzed Goddess 
eyeshadow palette. Um, I have this one from OXX, which is a Kmart brand. These are actually pretty good. I was actually really impressed, especially for the price. They're like two bucks. Um, and I got a really nice eye look using this. I've actually got a video. It was the eyeshadow I used in my uh, $10 beauty challenge, like $10 face challenge thing. This was actually the eyeshadow that I used in that. Um, I have this one from Galactic Beauty. This is Pink Ruffle from their Star Shadow line. This came in a beauty box or a lip monthly or one of those. It is raining crazy outside at the moment. Um, I have this one from Alme. Which is actually really pretty. I really like that blue. Such an intense blue. Um, this one is for Blue Eyes, the trio for Blue Eyes. You know when Alme was doing that, everything for a particular eye colour. It's a really old Maybelline. Um, this is Ooh La Latte. I should work on this one more. This would be a good one to get out of my collection. Um, <laughs> all of them would be good to get out of my collection justify buying something new. <laughs> I cannot justify that at the moment. Um, this one is from Kmart's own brand. Um, <laughs> this is just their eyeshadow quad. It doesn't have a name or anything. Like with the OXX one, they don't actually have any names for these. They just make them. So... It's a, you know, basic neutral. I was probably at a point where I was just looking for neutral shadows because I had so many bright ones. Now, uh, this is from Cargo. This is called Green Bay. Um, I got that in a beauty box. I think that one was actually from Lip Monthly. That's why I don't have too many beauty boxes anymore. I just end up with so much makeup. This one is from Gosh. Uh, it's called Aubergine. Which is the fancy word for eggplant, in case you're wondering. Um, I got this one, which is an artist Ardency In one. I got this from um, Tamara. It's in the colour royal. I keep it in the box because the box is just... That's how she sent it to me. <laughs> it is so gorgeous. Hang on, I just got to open it. It doesn't want to open. Look at that. It is the most beautiful purple. So beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, then I have three NYX ones. I have SOS. Which doesn't want to... Can't work out how to open it. It's so sad. It's just a really good transition type colour. Matte colour. Um, I have Diamond Lust, which is a sparkly white. wasn't actually the one I was intending to get, but it's the one I ended up with. And that one is taupe. Yeah. Mine's actually kind of broken in the container, so I'm not going to tip it too much. And then I have two of each of four Maybelline Color Tattoo pigments. These are the ones that I um, haven't actually used any of these. But So there's this one. So I have two of each of these. So this one is Improper Copper, which is, I haven't I actually have not used any of these. So, um, that's what improper copper looks like, if you can see that, probably not. It's kind of a brown, basically. I don't know why it's called improper copper, because it doesn't make me think of copper. It makes me think of brown. And then there is... is this so I've kind of half opened these. This one is buff and tough.
which is basically just a buff color. Um, and then we have, which one's this one? This one is Downtown Brown. Which is kind of a taupey brown. And the last one is uh, Wild Gold. Which I obviously have not opened at either one of them at all. That's weird, I thought I had. Which is clearly gold. Very gold. <laughs> so that's those ones. They're the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments. Did you know that Maybelline did those? I didn't realize. I thought they were like more like the color tattoos, but they're not. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of L'Oreal Infallibles. Um, these again came from Tamara J. This one is Endless Chocolate. Clearly brown. This one is Permanent Khaki. They've spelled it wrong for it to be khaki. It literally reads khaki on it. Uh, this one is Emerald Lame, which is gorgeous. It's like green with gold in it. It's so pretty. I don't know how well you can tell in this terrible, terrible lighting. Uh, this one is Sahara Treasure. It looks all scratchy because I was trying to take a sticker off of it so I could see it properly. This one is All Night Blue, which is a really dark blue. I haven't used too many of these. And if I have, I've only used them like once. Uh, this is Purple Obsession, which is gorgeous. Sorry about that flash of light that probably just blinded you. This one is Flashback Silver, which has kind of got like a purpley tone to it. Makes it really interesting. Um, this one is Eternal Black, which is a black with silver sparkles. Again, I just made that flash really badly. Um, this one is gold mine. <laughs> Guess what? It's gold. And this one is golden mahogany, which is a really interesting reddy color. So that's all those. And then all of these here, these are from Glamour Doll Eyes. They are all pigments and glitters. I got these from Tamara J. <laughs> some interesting colors in here um, this one is called skin of a killer a great name for a for, um, the, these the three different ranges here there's the uh, twi shadows there's these ones which are like the circus collection and then there's the more ordinary type ones so, yep, yeah, this one is Skin of a Killer. This one is Just Bitten. This one is Family Secret. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Uh, this one is premonition. Some of these are matte as well. This one is gorgeous. It's like grey with purple and oh, so nice. So, so nice. Uh, this one is black ice. Super sparkly. there. This one is a big brother. is green. Swampy. That is swampy. Uh, so this one is Bearded Lady. It's in the reference to the circus. So it's a really nice brown. And even though these are sample sizes, these would take you quite a while to use up. This one is Fire Eater. I love this. It's like a full-on glitter, but I love this. Look at that. I don't actually have any mixing medium. I really need to get some. I might be able to actually use these more easily. Uh, this one is Fiji Mermaid. 
This is gorgeous. Look at that. Love. I'm in love with these. I haven't used any of them really, but I'm in love with them. Um, this one is Stella, which is a Stella color. It's friggin' gorgeous. Right up my alley. This one is Tokyo, which is actually a matte purple. This one is another glitter one. This is Techno. Trying not to make a mess. Uh, this one is Going Green. Which is actually a very yellow green. This one is Sparkler. Pretty, pretty. This one is Calypso. I love that. It's got like a pink shift to it. It's gorgeous. This one is Aquafoil. Which is another matte one. Perfect transition type colour. I should use it. This one is a holographic glitter. This is Hollywood. Mm, rainbows. Her Revenge. Gorgeous. Almost there, guys. Um, Nymphet, which is absolutely stunning. Oops, the lid does not want to go back on. Uh, Lexington. Throw them around. Uh, gold digger. Which is not particularly gold. It's, it's not like super bright gold. Uh, Dazzle Me. Which has only got a little bit of spark, which is funny that they call it Dazzle Me. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, another glitter is Circus. Which is stunning. And the last one is Bare Naked, which again is a really good matte colour. So that is everything that was in this particular drawer of my makeup collection. This is part six. There will be a playlist so you can go and see all the other parts. Um, if you want to see more, then click the subscribe button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup inventory type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!